Alright, what's good YouTube? Gentlemen, Sam is here back with RCL Week 6 Team Builder before the match. This week, we, the Copenhagen Galates, are going up against FC Bayern Munchlex, coached by Smetterling. Now, his team is uh, very, very scary offensively. I, I'm just gonna say it, I actually don't have enough defensive answers to go against all his mons. If he brings the, the correct stuff, or rather the stuff I, I don't really have much for, and he just bombards me with one attack after after the other. This is going to be a very interesting match. But his team consists of Sarah Aura, Celestila, Mega Garchomp, Tabufini, Incineroar, Tyranitar, Dragovish, Golbat, and Rebombi. So, I don't even know where to really start. Sarah Aura, Goatmon, I love Sarah Aura. It's one of my favorite mons, both in draft and just in general. Celesteela, always a big menace to deal with. I do have some stuff for Celesteela compared to some other mons, so that's kind of okay. Mega Garchomp. Mega Garchomp is probably one of the Megas uh, that have gotten the biggest upgrade since uh, DLC came out because of Scale Shot. So now, you can go plus one with your... Uh, Mega Garchomp in speed, and all of a sudden you have a 170 base attack monster with a plus one in speed. Yeah, you get a minus one in defense, and that sucks, but if you know how to play around it, that's not going to be an issue for you. Uh, Tabu Fini, always annoying. Bulgy Water with the additional fairy typing, which fairy typing doesn't really hurt it all that much, though it does a little bit in this case against my team. Uh, Incineroar, annoying. Intimidate can pivot around without a U-turn pounding shot. Nagarov is always annoying. Tita. His Tita is going to be very important for his team. Because if he doesn't have Tita, then Zapdos can kind of uh, run wild against him. So I definitely think Tita has a good chance of becoming Dragovish. Do we even have to explain Dragovish? Like, it's it's the one move, man. But that one move also uh, pretty, pretty much uh, devastates any team it goes against. Golbat. Golbat is, for some reason, the best defensive man against my team I've ever seen. Uh, against my physical attackers. My special attackers and Zapdos and the Heligo Absolutely bops it. But Rillaboom, Saigat, Akron, uh, Safesh, none of them really <laughs> can really do much to um, Golbat besides knocking off its EV alive. And even then, it still actually has enough bulk. Uh, Rebombi, the only thing, I, the only reason I could see Rebombi come would be for Sticky Webs, because I kind of walled it with both Mega Akron, Primarina, a little bit with Nihelago. Even though it gets access to Psychic, I believe, it's, it won't do enough. But yeah. First off on the team this week, we have Saiga, also known as Kronos. Saiga this week is going to be a win condition because we are rocking the weakness policy. If Holder is hit super effectively, raises attack and special attack by two stages, it's a single use. Or break ability because I cannot bring any other ability. EV spread is going to be Adam and Nature with 64 HP, 252 attack, 0 defense, 0 special defense, and 192 in speed. This lets me outspeed a max choice, uh, not choice, but max speed Jolly, Dragovish, um, uh, if he is Jolly Garchomp, that's annoying. Uh, I don't outspeed it. Uh, and if he can somehow predict that I'm Adamant rather than Jolly, he could very well revenge against me if I'm not at plus one speed. Because if we look at my, look at my moves, it's going to be Scale Shot, Extreme Speed, Thousand Arrows, and Dragon Dance. So, the general idea behind Saiga is to be in against the Tabu Fini, most likely, or maybe the Sarah Aura. Because Sarah Aura does get access to Outrage, um, and play rough, but Tabu Fini is probably more the target here. He's gonna go for a Dragon Kiss or Moonblast, hopefully not an Ice Beam. If he carries Ice Beam, that's well played, but I don't think he would necessarily need it, but he could do it just to make sure he can kind of kill Saigat. He pops our weakness policy, and we, as we D-dance, we get a plus one speed and a plus three attack, and then we go in. If he still has Incineroar around, uh, we probably won't sweep with it, unless he's like very low on a lot of his mons. Um, but if Incineroar is dead, we can kind of kill most of, a te most of his team with his uh, moveset here. So that is what we are hoping to happen, but uh, you can never know. Next up on the team this week, we have Zapdos, also known as Stormbreaker. I'm kind of forced to bring Zapdos for the Celesteela, pretty much. Uh, my fire type isn't all that great. I can hit it with a couple of other mods, but Zapdos is like the main thing I can do to deal with Celesteela. Uh, we're going to be heavy duty boots because he, ha he only... Even though he only has two Rockers, both of them are very good in Garchomp and um, Tyranta. So I could definitely see Stealth Rock being a thing. Static ability, because if we want to take a physical hit, we might as well, might as well try to see if we can paralyze them. Uh, Eevee Spirit is going to be 64 HP, uh, 0 defense, 252 special attack, 0 special defense, 192 speed. Yes, it's the exact same spread, just with a timid nature rather than modest nature on, uh, uh, well, Adamant and Psygarde. Simply, simply because this allows me to outspeed the Mega Garchomp. <laughs> 
So I'll speed the mega a jolly mega Garchomp. Uh, yes, I don't kill the Garchomp, but like Hurricane, which if look here we have Hurricane, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Roost. Uh, Hurricane does quite a lot to Mega Garchomp, and it it could scale shot on me, but it can't hit me with any ground moves. So it would have to hit me with like a Dragon Claw or a Drago Media, which he could carry either of those. Mix, mixed Mega Gacham is very common, so I could definitely see that coming. Um, but as I said, if I could get rid of the Tita, this Pokemon goes in. Um, with her, with Dual Stab, it pretty much hits his entire team. Like, I guess Sarora would be the biggest issue, but Celesteela, uh doesn't want to take the Thunderbolt. Gacham doesn't really want to take Hurricane. Top Fing doesn't want to take Thunderbolt. Same with Incineroar. Well, actually, Hurricane does more than Incineroar. Tita is the only one that takes both comp comfortably comfortably nicely <laughs> that's that's my way out of saying thunderbolt does quite a lot to drago H and even and hurricane again is neutral so it does a lot i can bop the gold bat and i can bop the rubambi so Santos definitely has a chance to win the game if everything goes our way now if you've seen any of my videos you kind of know which mon is going to be the next um we have rillaboom also known as ringo Real boom this week is going to be leftovers at the end of every turn. Hold restores 116 of his max HP. Uh, grassy train because I don't see why I should run. Uh, what's the grass one called? It's torrent. It's blaze. I don't remember what the grass one is called. Yeah, but I might as well just run a grassy search. Like even though he benefits for the terrain as well with his Finny and his Tita especially, eh, I kind of kind of live with it. Now, the Eevee spread is actually going to be an impish nature with 248 HP, 24 attack, and 232... Is it 232? I actually think it... Ooh. I'm going to say 232, but it might be 236, now that I think about it. Around those... Um, and this is for Dragovish. Now, Dragovish still 2 coats me. <laughs> like, Choice Bandit, Fisher's Rent still 2 coats my Rillaboom, but if we look at the moves, we have Knock Off, Grassy Glide, Protect, and Least Seed. So... The general thought behind this is he is in with his Dragovish against any man that uh, that it pressures out. I go into Rillaboom, I take the Fish's Rent, I then protect, get, get my Grassy Terrain and my Leftovers again after I have gotten it once. I then either Grassy Glide or Leech Seed, uh, it's gonna depend a little bit in the moment. If I Grassy Glide, I make his Fish's Rent weaker because he's now moving after me. If I Leech Seed, I get more recovery, so next, so next time I protect, I can actually um, potentially survive one more. Uh, one more turn, and if he swaps out, I think leech cheating overall better because both Celesteela and Cinnamon kind of swaps into this rather well. At least, at least if he knows I don't, I'm not running a fighting move on Cinnamon, he could swap into this. Now, next on the team is actually a last minute swap I did. I put Surfetch, also known as Newgate, on the team. Uh, originally, I had Primarina as like an additional Dragovish answer, but I realized I don't have any removal because I didn't want to run it on Zapdos uh, because Zapdos was a good offensive option this week, and I didn't really think Komala or Colossal did enough. Komala could have come as a Tabu Fini answer because it can't be um, burned, or rather it ignores it because of the um, the ability. Uh, I can't run Comatose. Which means it's always asleep and it gets access to Woodhammer. So Woodhammer absolutely not bops, but it does enough so Tabu Fini can sit in front of me and just uh, sit up all at once. But I feel like Sofet is a little bit better just because Kamala allows the, the Celesteela, the even the Mega Garchomp, the Incineroar, the, may, maybe the Tita. I can't run a fighting move, so I don't know the goal, but like, it allows a lot of mountain where Sofet doesn't. So, so first it's going to be heavy duty boots like Zapdos. Uh, when switching in, the whole is unaffected by hazards on the inside of the field. Scrabby, because he does have an Intimidate Mon in Incineroar. Adamant Nature, 32 HP, 252 attacks, 0 defense, 0 special defense, and 224 on speed. This allows me to outspeed a modest Celesteela, or Tita, should it be it, because they have the same speed stat. But also allows me to outspeed a non-speed invested, or even low speed invested Tabu Fini. He has to have 64 speed, e speed uh, EVs, I believe it is, to outspeed my Sofetch, or to speed tie with my Sofetch. Now, the moves we're running with are going to be Knockoff, Potion Jab, Close Carbon, and Defog. So... Knockoff is utility. Um, if he has gold bat, I'm probably clicking knockoff the first time I'm in, so I can knock off any Eevee light. Poison jab is for the Tabu Fini. Uh, if he doesn't bring gold bat, I'm probably clicking poison jab the first time I'm in. If I if I know I'm forcing out whatever is in front of me, and close combat is so free against this team because I like okay I say that with him having Tabu Fini, 
Golbat and Rebombi. Tabu Fini is resist. Golbat and Rebombi are both double resist to close combat. But I don't see Rebombi coming. And even though I can see Golbat coming quite a lot, uh, if I can knock off its Evie Light, is still, it all of a sudden isn't as great of a swap in to a lot of Mons as it could have been. But if neither of Golbi or uh, Golbat or Rebombi, Golbi, <laughs> Rebombi are coming, then I'm clicking Poison Jab, predicting the Tabu Fini uh, swap in. And then we have Defog. Uh, as I said, I just want to Defog, and so Fetch gets it, so sure, why not? Next up, we have Meshpit, also known as Magoi. Meshpit is going to be holding the Assault Vest again, because this Mon with an Assault Vest is such a gut bring. I don't get it. I love Assault Vesting my Meshpit. It makes so much sense. Even though it has such such good utility moves in Thunder Wave and Stealth Rock and stuff like that, I just love having Assault Vest. It means our Special Def is 1 from 5, but it can only select damaging moves. Levitate ability because we cannot have another ability, but it is also very important we have Levitate for this matchup because our Meshpit is our primarily Gacha man. So we are relaxed nature with 248 HP, zero attack, uh, 212 in defense. Yes, there, there's supposed to be a plus there, but I don't know. I mean, I mess up all the time, you know, that's just part of me. Uh, zero special attack, 48 special defense, and minus speed nature. This allows us to take pretty much any hit for the Mega Gacham, should he be physical, should he be special. Um, as I said, mixed Gacham with like Drago Media into Earthquake or into Crunch or whatever he wants is very, very common. But we can take any hit, uh, we can take any two hits he wants to go for. Unless he predicts Mesprit and Crunch twice, then I actually do think we can die. But then I can kind of see if I can play around it, maybe swap into my Rillaboom. If he doesn't have Fire Blast, Rillaboom is a decent answer uh, for Gacha if he's physical, if he's special. We'll have to look at that when we, if we get there. The moveset is going to be U-Turn, Ice Beam, Drain Punch, and Thunder Punch. No Psychic Stab, because the only thing I can hit super effectively with Psychic is uh, Golbat. And I have I have quite a lot of mons with uh, different uh, stuff to hit the Golbat with, so I don't really need it. Uh, U-Turn is for Momentum. Ice Beam is for the Garchomp we mentioned before. Drain Punch is because Tita. I don't want Tita to be a absolute free swap in. I can do a decent amount of damage. The same goes with Incineroar. Plus, Drain Punch also gives us uh, some HP back if we need to. And Thunder Punch is so the Tabofini can't call mine on me for free. Like, I don't do a lot to Tabofini because he's physically defensive. I do like 20, just around 25% so I can break a sub if I need to. Uh, but it's also so I can hit the Celesteela. Um, and I could go Thunderbolt, but as I said, if he's calm mine Tabofini, I don't want him to be able to calm mine on Mesh Bridge, so I'd rather go for Thunder Punch and then do that a little bit less to the Celesteela. Um, but yeah, that's Meshpit this week. It's very important Meshpit uh, can go against the Gacham because otherwise I have a good chance of just losing to Gacham. Now, lastly on the team this week, you can probably guess who it is. It is Mega Agron, also known as Kaiju. Mega Agron, Agron is going to be holding the Agronite. If held by Agron, this item uh, allows it to Mega Evolve in battle. Filter, because we cannot have any other ability, but Filter is also the, one of the best abilities probably in draft format. Then we have Eevee Spread, Impulse Nature with 248 HP, Zero Attack, 80? Actually, that's that's wrong. That's not Impish Nature. It is careful. It is careful. It is careful. Because I watched Impish Nature uh, to, to begin with, but I swapped it to careful because I actually did some calc on the Ser Aura, which Agron is one of the better counters I have to Ser Aura. Uh, and being careful with 80 defense, 180 special defense is the best way I can kind of counter either physical or special. Because I can't really predict what he is going to be. He could be special with Thunderbolt, and then if I'm physically, max physically defensive, I just kind of lose to that. Where if I build a max spedef to counter a special uh, Cell Rod, then if, he, if he's like life of uh, close combat, I actually do kind of die to that if he clicks it twice or if he clicks Plasma Fist into close combat. So I kind of have to be a little bit mixed here to make sure I can take any hit. But yeah, 248 HP, 0 attacks, uh, 80 defense, 180 special defense, 0 in speed. As I said, this is to go against the Cell Rod, but it's also a very nice Golbat's answer. Even though Golbat gets Super Fang and that worries me a little bit, it's also a pretty decent uh, Celesteela answer. It can take a hit from Garchomp if he goes into Garchomp. And uh, if you look at my moves, I have Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Thunder Punch, and Stealth Rock. Now, Earthquake is, of course, Sauron, but it also hits Incineroar, it hits Tita, even though I would rather Heavy Slam the Tita. Um, Heavy Slam pretty much hits the entirety of his team, except for like Celesteela. Even a Heavy Slam to uh, Sauron does quite a lot. Um, I guess Dragovish also takes a Heavy Slam fairly well, but I don't think he would ever swap in his Dragovish on this. I hope he, I, I hope he won't. <laughs> like, that's, that's just what I'm going to say, because I actually don't do too much to Dragovish, because he resists Heavy Slam. Thunderpass isn't that strong. 
I guess I guess earthquake would be my best answer. And then stealth rock because I mean, if you have Mega Echo, why not bring stealth rock? I guess. So yeah, that's my team this week. This is what I think he's bringing. I think he's bringing Serora, Celestia, Mega Gacha, Tabufini, Taranta, and Dragovish. Now, I could see any of these mons being swapped out for his Golbat 100%. I think Golbat has such a good defensive matchup against Saigard, against Rillaboom, against Sofesh. Um, even if you look at like against Kamala, against maybe Colossal. Uh, maybe not Colossal because it's just rock type, but you know. But I guess he, he could be worried about knockoff because I have a lot of knockoff users. Rillaboom, uh, Sneasel, Meshbit, Sufesh, Kamala, all knockoff users. Other than that, uh, I guess Incineroar has a decent chance to come just because it's, it's an Intimidate Mon with a decent pivot in both u turn and Pine Shot. Uh, I don't see Rebombi coming. Yeah, and that pretty much covers his entire team. Only, the only one I can't really see coming is Rebombi, just because I can literally put Mega Akron in against Rebombi, and he could be plus three, plus three after Quiver Dance, and he does 10% to me or something like that. Like, it's ridiculous. Rebombi does nothing to Mega Akron without HP Fire. So, again, another reason why HP moves. It's nice they have been removed. <laughs> but yeah, that's my team. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the team. And as always, make sure to leave a like on the video. Um... I will, now, I will now head into the battle, so peace, YouTube. Alright, what's good YouTube? Gentlemen, Tom is here back with RCL Week 6 battle against Smetterling, coach of the FC Bayern Munchlax. Yes, he is coach of uh, Bayern Munich's version of Pokemon, even though he's Dutch, which I got really confused about when we talked earlier, but <laughs> anyways. He brought his Mega Garchomp, his Incineroar, his Celesteela, his Serora, his Tabu Fini, his, uh, and his Tarantar. So no Dracovish is actually wild to me. I really thought that, because like, Choice Bandit Dracovish, even though I can revenge against it uh, with a couple of mods, that thing puts in work against my team. And now Rillaboom, I really wish Rillaboom was made different, because it was made to counter that Dracovish, because even though it has Sand Rush, he should... Probably just run Choice Bandit um, Fisher's Rent with Strong Jaw. That two goes in yeah, my mind. But yeah, um, with what he has, I actually do think I might lead uh, Mesprit just because if he leads Tarant, I can get Drain Punch off, see how much damage I can do. If he leads Tapu I get Thunder Punch off. Um, if he leads Garchomp, that's perfect because that's what Mesprit is built for. If he leads Celesteela, that's more of like a. Uh, had to think a little bit on my speed. And if he leads Serora, I would quickly have to look at how much Serora. Actually, can do with a knockoff because I don't really want my um, what's it called? Uh, assault vest on Mesprit knocked off, but I actually think I will lead Mesprit. He needs the catch up. Okay, that's actually that's like best case scenario kind of deal here because uh, this thing is uh, meant to take on the catch up. Now, question. Do you think he's gonna swap out? Like even if he swaps out, I still feel feel like this is just just staying in is the best option right now. Uh, he can't kill Meshbrit in any way whatsoever, uh, and I do a chunk with Ice Beam. He could very well go Tabufini, and I mean I have Thunder Punch, but like I don't do a lot to Tabufini, but I chose Thunder Punch over like Thunderbolt or Energy Ball in case he's like Calm Mind Tabufini. I kind of want to just fire up the Ice Beam and then U-turn on any type of Fini coming because I'm negative speed. I should U-turn slower than him. Uh, if he toxic, uh, he can't toxic me if Tabu Fini is up because of Misty Terrain. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna. Okay, he stops. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Like Mesprit is made to take you on, so I don't, I don't care. Plus, you decided not to Mega Evolve. I mean, you, you could very well Mega Evolve. Don't get me wrong. But you decided, man. If, if I was Choice Scarf Max Special, so you would, you would have been dead there, buddy. Actually, you know, okay, okay, he goes Incineroar. I'm not too mad about Incineroar. Uh, actually, maybe I am, maybe I am. Because Incineroar actually does do quite a lot to a lot of my team. Because, like, he could parting shot very well here. He could very well parting shot. Um, or you turn. But parting, sh parting shot is the overall more devastating variant. Hmm. Okay, so I've been actually I should, I should probably have gone like I thought about U turning, but I was also like I would rather just stay in and do what little negative damage I would do to any man rather than 
letting his scotch up get like a sub up or anything. Um, I think going Akron is like the safe play. Like, like, yeah, if he has a fighting move, that's gonna hurt a bit. I feel like going Akron is the safe parting shot. Let me see it. Yes. See, that's the, that's the kind of even if I stay in with uh, Mesh, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference, you know. Honestly, if you go Scotch up, I actually probably will stay in. Just he goes. Interesting. I mean, I, I guess. Well, you can't. You can't. Oh wait, I'm minus one. I have to remember that I'm minus one. Minus one, I actually don't necessarily break a sub if he's very. Def if he's like very very defensive, I don't break a sub. I knew I knew he was gonna parting shot and it annoys me because I couldn't I couldn't even really do that much against it. <sighs> okay, so I think going Rillaboom might be the play right now. Because as long as Misty Train is up, he cannot burn me. Uh yes, he can probably get his Celesteela in for free. I have to think here because Combine Top Finney is one. With with what he bringing in it Bring it in like this. This is 100% call my top Vini. Like there's no doubt in my mind at all. <sighs> I have to I have to think a little bit about what I do here. I mean, I could go like Surfetch has, but no, no Surfetch took too much damage. I feel like going Willow Boom is the correct choice because he can't Scald Burn me. As as uh, I'm pretty sure that's how terrain works. I want to say that's how terrain works. I feel like this is going to be a, a battle with this happens a lot where he goes into his Incineroar and like my Rillaboom, probably maybe my Mesh Spread and stuff like that. And he's just going to punish you out every time. <sighs> like, I really want to get my Mega off with Akron. It's kind of important, honestly. Okay, I think I'm going to test his defense because he's... Okay, he just surfs. Never mind. Okay, I do 26. Okay. This is what I wanted to, because I want to see how much I would do. I did 26. Okay, yeah, so he is like close to max defense. Okay. Okay, so I could get rocks up. Since, since, why didn't he? I, that's, that's really interesting. Actually, I... Okay, I have to think here. Now, I think Agron's health is probably more important, so I'm, I'm going... Ah, that's not good. That's not a good swap for me, actually. I don't know if he expected it this turn or what he did. No, against Rillaboom. Boom. Oh, that does so much. Okay, so I was about to say, where's the grassy, the grassy search? He was just lagging a little bit behind. Okay, I shoot out speed. Uh, I can protect to see what. But now I'm also giving him freaking grassy terrain. Uh, part of me, because Draco is, isn't here, part of me actually want to just knock off any boots on this. Cause that means if I get rocks up at, point, at one point, yeah. If I get now, his Celesteela is 100% coming in, I think. Would it be Celesteela? It probably, it probably would be. Like, right? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Um, okay, as I said, Rillaboom isn't as important because it's not an offensive Rillaboom, it's not as important. So I could potentially lead seed him here, see what he wants to go for. Because almost no matter what he does, he doesn't pose that much of a threat to Zapdos, right? I mean, he... Oh, actually, he could be... Oh, he could very well be... I just realized that he could power a Meteor Beam to take on... To take down... Wait. It does get... Yeah, it, it does get a Meteor Beam. Yeah, it does. And that's actually a set I don't really want to deal with, if I'm honest. So... If you Meteor Beam to Rillaboom, does Rillaboom about to just die? Because, like, Rillaboom takes any physical attack... Basically, Meteor Beam. Okay, no. I'm lead seeding. Oh, he goes Incineroar. That's not terrible. That's actually not terrible. Lead seed on the Incineroar. That's kind of fine. I don't know what you expect. Wait, what? Did you expect me to go Mesprit there? That was, that was, an, that was kind of an odd um, swap, if you ask me. I don't, I don't see the reason. 
Actually, how, how much did my knock off to this in Maybe I should try and see if I can determine. Okay, this actually looks kind of physically defensive. Right? Yeah, it looks physically def. Uh, wait, Intimidate has buff. Never mind. Yeah, no, no, no. Wow, th this is very spadef. It has like zero physical defense if. Oh, wait, I wasn't intimidated at that point. What? No, I wasn't intimidated at that point. Never mind. So it is, it is physically defensive. It is probably physically defensive. Now I'm minus two. I really wish, I really wish I had, um, what's it called, U-turn on Rillaboom. I just wish Rillaboom was a different set right now. Let's just protect, stall a little bit here. Fire Blast. Wait, that's kind of smart. Um... Fire blast on his Incineroar, so he's more, most likely like a sassy or relaxed nature, something like that. Fire blast does a button. Okay, so fire blast doesn't do too much to background. I could go mesh sprit, and then how much does mesh sprit? The thing is, I don't want mesh sprit to be get knocked off, because that makes scar jump so scary. I mean, scar jump is scary. I guess I guess I could go surfetched. The, the thing is if you pounding shots on this turn, that's super annoying. Cause like minus one how much does surfetch do then? Poison jet. Yeah, it doesn't it still breaks the potential sub Infini, which is kinda of what we want. I could go Zapdos. Then it just brings in his scotch on the pounding shot. Oh, that's that's like this this is you know, it's gonna be annoying. So maybe I should just take the potential hit with Rillaboom. And uh <clears throat> God damn minus two, and if he goes out to anything, I have to swap out at that point. The like, Grassy Glide does nothing. Nothing. I think. Oh, I don't I don't know. I'm I'm kind of in a like I'm a little bit in an annoying bind right now because I have to think about what what's gonna come in and whatever gets parting shotted. I guess I could go mesh sprit and then if you parting shots out, that's base, base best case scenario. But I can all and then I can click U turn no matter what basically comes in. I guess. Yeah, I, th I think that just don't knock off parting shot. Okay. Like it's it's annoying, but okay. Turn on the Against me, mess sprit. Okay, at minus one, like I could drain punch him. Uh, how much a crunch does a butt turn to me? I can U turn and go into. <coughs> uh, go into Sufetch, I guess. Yeah, I can U turn and go into Sufetch, I would say. Um, what would he click here? Like crunch, but other than crunch, basically. Did I get damage on the Telfini? I actually did. It's not terrible. Okay, I'm clicking U-turn. I'm probably going so fetched. Like he could get his rocks up. He could. Okay, 17%. U-turn. Uh, U-turn for mesh, but doing 17. That's 24 to 28. Normally. Oh, that's fist. Wow, that's fist of uh, Tita. Right. I get hit. Oh, and that, was, that was a low roll even. Okay. I'm going to fetch trying to scout what he wanna do here. So, ice beam. Okay, he expected Psyguard, I think. So I'm kinda I'm kinda happy. Okay, he's leftovers. That's okay, that's good to know. Okay, so fetched. You if I play this correctly, I get a kill here. Basically. Um, if a poison jab and incoming yeah, poison jab on an income type of Fini is best case scenario. If he stays in, um, like staying in is ballsy. I'm poison jabbing. Yes, sir. How defensive are you? Forty-four percent. Okay. Now, how much speed does type of Fini? Okay, it, it can have 60 speed and I would outspeed it. This looks to be a some... Actually, maybe I should... I'm on the wrong page. 
Control F surf. He surfed at 25 to my Mega Akron. Tabu Fini surf. Okay, he looks very defensive because that was a min roll. Uh, so he probably doesn't have a lot of speed. Actually, I'm going for it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. We go Celestila. The that's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. He goes Scotch Jump. Uh, I mean, that's resisted. I can't, I can't get it. I can't get it. Uh, that, that was like a rough skin and then into uh, sand. That's annoying, yeah. Okay, I'm, go I'm going Mesh Brit. Like, you get, a, you get a sub up, you get a sub up. Okay, he Megas and he substitutes. Okay. Okay, Mesh Brit. Can I break this sub with anything but Ice Beam? Um, I cannot. I have to Ice Beam. I'm just gonna do it. Fabulous, that does nothing. I'm Eevee. Oop. <sighs> okay, if I... He hasn't revealed skill shot. Substitute, fire blast. Yeah, skill shot, probably. Honestly. Would he sub with how little health he has left? He could. Um, he could very well sub here. So, what is my consequences if I U-turn on his substitute? Because I don't break it, but I guess I go... His Fire Blast did 19% to Mesh, but yeah, so he has... So he has... Is that none? No, he has to have some, I think. Yeah, the, he has to have some spe Spetag investment. Okay, so I don't know how much exactly. Fire Blast to Rillaboom does chunk, <clears throat> but I can Grassy Glide it twice. Ooh, grassy Glide wouldn't necessarily... Uh, after the sub, it would. So I'm, I'm new turning. Okay. I'm, I'm good with this. Thank you. Okay, Surf Fetched to Tabu Fini. Does close combat kill. 222 to 26. I don't. And I don't think going Psyguard is going to be necessarily my best option here because Incineroar could parting shot me <coughs> right uh, right now you know all, all of his mod actually all of the correct mods are actually within the like I guess I do go surfage don't I I mean I guess I go surfage and I close combat because he feared he feared being outsped so yeah, so th that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. I'm going Surfage and I'm clicking Close Combat. I'm <clears throat> probably getting a kill no matter what here. Uh, he has to be... I know I know he's not... No, he was heavy duty because I knocked him off, so should... I'll speed. Unless he's like a jolly max speed. Okay, he gives up his, side, his uh, guard jump. I'm, I'm kind of fine with that, I'm kind of fine with that. That means that's out of the way. Thank God. And <clears throat> most of my mods, like, so fetched is low, Meshbrot are taking a bit, and Akron are taking a bit. Um, but most of my, like, Rillaboom, <coughs> sorry, Rillaboom, Zapdos, and Saigard are healthy. Zapdos and Saigard haven't seen the field at all. <coughs> uh, I just need, if I can get rid of his, uh, rid of his, um, oh, wait, frick, I just realized something. So I took Heatway off um, Zapdos because I was like, what ha What do I have Heatway on, Heatway on for? Uh, I hit everything and now I just realized it, it was freaking for the Serora. Like, duh. Okay, I'm Poison Jam. Yeah, I outspeed you. Thank you. Give me this second one. We take those. Speedy the goo. Ah, oh, so fetch, man. You've been to two games and you put in work both times. I love this. I love seeing my dog do work. <laughs> okay, he goes Celesteela. I'm bobbing you with a close combat. Like, you might outspeed me, but if you take out my... If you take out my Sarah and my Sofetch here, that's fine. I outspeed you. I do bunch, bunch truck damage. Kill me. Autotomize. I'm not too worried about that. Um, cause what? I don't. I don't see you have anything for uh, for Zapdos really. I mean, honestly, do you have? Any okay, 
His, uh, uh, he is probably the modest, so I'm very glad I spit crept the modest. <laughs> uh, Celestila, okay. Does this thing... He probably has... Okay, he's plus one spit attack now. So I would have to... Look at Ass Slash. Dang it. I have to, I have to get to plus two with Psygods. So I have to uh, avoid... I basically have to avoid uh, getting... Ass less flinched, I think. The thing is, uh, I'm so regretting putting Volt Switch over Heatwave now. Why didn't I realize this? I'm so mad at myself. I'm so excruciatingly mad at myself, actually. Oh, wait, I have to put plus one Spatak here. It's like Zapdos free swap swapping, basically. I could Volt Switch, but the thing is, if you go Ser what is this? what is a gets It's okay. It's HP, so it wouldn't matter that much. Um. So I, I think I have to go Sapdos, right? I really wanted to go Saigard, but yeah, Saigard doesn't doesn't want to take the plus one hits. He could air slash me uh, right now. I think I think I'm Volt Switching here. He can okay. He can go Tita to preserve this. He can let this die, get a hit, hit off, and then die. He can go Sour predicting the electric move. But I could have Heat Wave. He doesn't know that. Uh, or he can go. I don't think it's Senroar gets him any, anything. So I think it's Tita, Sour or Celestila. If you go Sour I actually do. Okay, did it did have me? I put. I. I called that, and for some reason, I still forgot it. Oh, that's so annoying. I called it and I still forgot it. How how did I oh I misplayed so hard there? I misplayed so mother freaking hard there. I misplayed so hard. Flame from meteor beam. Uh, probably ass no, since he didn't ask this. Ah oh, I misplayed I misplayed so, I misplayed so hard there. I misplayed so hard. <sighs> Mm, like I, I said, I said that he's gonna have meteor beam, and for some reason, still when Satos as, as an idiot. I mean, I just have to, yeah, take the hit. Please, Thunder Punch, kill him. Okay, thank you. Ha! Oh, thank God. Ah, I unnes unnecessarily sacked my Satos there. I, sh I mean, I guess Satos, Satos wouldn't have done much for me in the end game because Fini is dead. Cells and it was like it Celestila is now dead. It doesn't touch Tita and I guess it touched uh, Incineroar. I'm so mad I did that. Like that was unnecessary. <sighs> I called it and everything. That's so unnecessary. Uh, no. <sighs> okay. Sarah Aura. Ice Beam has a chance, but he could be coma. I'm U turning. Can you knock off? You kill me. Fine. I can, I can live with that. Okay, um, you can have Outrage, right? Outrage, okay. I didn't see a boosting item, so if I go Psygod and uh, he has Outrage, he doesn't kill me, I D-dance, he popped my weakness policy, I win. Right? If he goes in Zero, that's fine. Do we have outrage? Out, outrage. Yeah, he goes. He, he has play rope. That's equally fine. Okay. I haven't seen an item on Serora. He says GG. If he's sugar berry, thousand arrow still goes straight for him. Okay. Yeah. Like the only the only thing is he, he has to swap in Sunroin 
but that only gets me to, to minus to plus two. So she'll still just kill anything, I think. So I think he has to go in center all. I know. I just I just keep thousand hair. Yeah, yeah. This is this is his play, hundred percent. Sugar? No. Okay. Okay. Plus one Saigard, You still kill the incinero. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Mm! That's three wins in a row, man. Oh, this new this new team is. Oh, that's is that is that four? That's four actually. I think that's four. Like gee. Okay, GG smelling. This was this was one of those battles I love. Like that's back and forth, forth. Both of us have some really good, interesting sets. Um, the Celestila set. If I wasn't AB Mesprit, I would have lost then and there. Uh, actually, maybe maybe Psygod takes one and kills with Thousand Arrows, but then I wouldn't be able to sweep with Psygod in the end. So, oh, I'm so happy about this. Oh, this was such a good win. Big GG. Uh, as always. Um. I think this is like my second time, maybe, th I, I think it's the second time we play. I love playing you, it's it's always such a good, interesting match. Um, but as always, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below with what you thought of the battle. I thought th this was one of those really nice battles, back and forth. Uh, and of course, when I get the dub, it's a little bit better, but... <laughs> um, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And with that, I'm out. Peace, YouTube.